uh, research papers. A journal plans to publish 18 research papers written by eight authors A, B, C, D, E, F, G and H in four issues, January, April, July and October. Each of the research papers was written by exactly one of the eight authors, which is nice. Five papers were scheduled in each of the first two issues, four in each of the last two issues, five, five, four, four, adding up to 18. Every author wrote at least one paper and at most three papers. So eight into one is eight, eight into three is 24, total is 18. So more should have written three and two. More than two. The total number of papers written by A, D, G and H was double the total number of papers written by the other four authors. So A, D, G, H, other four is B, C, E, F. So this is 2x, this is x, total is 18, 3x is 6, 18, x is 6, 12 and 6, which is very nice because a, D, G and H, if they together write 12, nobody could have written more than 3. So A, D, G, H, write 3, 3, 3, 3. A nice inference straight away. Brilliant. Four of the authors were from India and two each were from Japan and China. 4, 2, 2, India, Japan, China. Each author belonged to exactly one of the three areas, manufacturing, automation, logistics. So we have authors categorized by country, authors categorized by uh, divisions or departments, areas. Four of the authors were from logistics and two were from automation. That means two more were from manufacturing. As per the journal policy, none of the authors could have more than one paper in any issue of the journal. So A cannot publish three articles in the same issue. Lovely. And then a bunch of condition. F, an Indian author from the logistics area wrote only one paper. It was scheduled in the October issue. A was from automation and did not have a paper scheduled in the October issue. It's going to be tricky to remember all of this and process this. We need to capture data in some form. Saying Chan, April, July, October. And manufacturing, automation, logistics, China, Japan, India. 224, 224. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. How many did each of them write? The first inference that we could draw was A, D, G and H. Together contribute 12 articles or 12 papers. So nobody can do more than three. So A, D, G, H account for three, 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 three. The other four should add up to six. So B, C, E, F. Together is six. So it is either one, one, two, two or one, 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 three. One of these combinations. Each of them should have at least one. 1111 adds up to 4. The two extra could be either 2, 2 or all set to the same guy, 1113. But this, the 12 is 3333, that life makes simpler for us. So 33334 A, D, G, and H. Brilliant. Now let's build on this. F, an Indian author from logistics area, wrote only one paper, which is nice. It was scheduled in the October issue. F is in logistics. F is from India and F sits in October. A was from automation, which is nice, and did not have a paper scheduled in the October issue. Not in October. A has published three papers. Nothing in October. This is brilliant. That means A should feature in all three. A, A, A. And A was from automation. None of the Indian authors were from manufacturing. And none of the Japanese or Chinese authors were from automation. So all automation should be from India. So A, sorry, this is automation, should be A. A should sit here also. Right. Let's go step by step. A was from automation and did not have a paper scheduled in the October issue. So A should be here, here and here. C and D, both Chinese authors from different areas, had the same number of papers scheduled. Further, he had papers scheduled in consecutive issues of the journal, but C did not. So we know A, D, G, H. So we know B, C, E, F. They add up to six. C and D are both Chinese authors. Let's put both C and D here. With that, the China part is complete. They are from different areas. That means. The Chinese and uh, Japanese authors are not in automation. That means there should be one from manufacturing, one from logistics, C and D. 
for that he had paper scheduled in consecutive issues but she did not first inference he should have had two articles published c should also have two part publish so at least two so it should be 2 2 1 1 and so c had two e had two e had in consecutive issues c had in not consecutive she did not have in consecutive issues b from the logistics area had a paper scheduled in the april issue b is in logistics and had something scheduled in april nice Lovely. Let's build on this. None of the Japanese or Chinese authors were from the automation area. That means all automation professors, authors are from India. That means this should be A. A and H were from different countries, but had their paper scheduled in exactly the same issue. This is massive because we have A, A, A. We can put H, H, H. Straight away. B and G belong to the same country, but none of their papers were scheduled in the same issue. We know B published only one and that was in April. So G should have published in Jan, July and October. So we have AHG, ABH, AHG, FG. So we need to have only one more here, only two more here, two and two here. Right? A, D, H, G, each published three. We can make an inference about D, then we are through because that will fill three slots It'll be massively useful D a Japanese author from the manufacturing area so this is D and this is D did not have a paper scheduled in the July issue brilliant nothing in July so D would come here D would come here D would come here so we need to have only one 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 more we've accounted for B and F we have accounted for A, D, H, G. We are worrying only about C and D. And brilliant. So we need to have two C's and two E's, but otherwise this is completely filled. We still need to figure this out, but this is filled apart from two C's and two E's. Let's go and attack this. Now we come back here. C and D, both Chinese authors from different areas had the same number of paper scheduled. He had paper scheduled in consecutive issues. It will be Jan and April, April and July, July and October. But C did not. If E had Jan and April, C should have been in these two. Not possible. If E had July and October, C should have been in these two. Not possible. Our life is simple. E has in April and July. C has in Jan and October. Brilliant. Now C and H belong to different areas. C and E belong to different areas. These two different areas are manufacturing and logistics. C and H different areas. We don't know where H is from. So we still have to worry about H, which area he is from, which division he is from, which country he is from. B and G belong to the same country. C and A and H belong to different countries. Lovely. So this is massively useful. I'm going to attack this next. B and G belong to the same country. B, G cannot be in China. China is accounted for. They cannot be in Japan. Only two are B, G sit here. Brilliant. So F, A, B, G, the Indian contingent is completely filled. This is C, E. So Japan should be D, H. Now C and H come from different areas. Both cannot be automation. C and D come from different areas, so we don't know. C and D have to be logistics and manufacturing. C and H have to be logistics and manufacturing. H is from Japan. Yep, between logistics and manufacturing, we need to have that. So E and H have to be together. C has to be in the other part. That's maybe something that we can infer. BG, same country. So we fill this. H is Japanese, we fill that. So H goes into the logistics spot because between C and D, one has to be in manufacturing, one has to be in logistics. So there's no room for manufacturing for H. So H has to go here into logistics. 
So final piece of the jigsaw, we need to have C and D going into manufacturing and logistics. So A, B, D is accounted for. So we have C and D sitting here. So G should be here. Is Indian that goes here. A, G, F, B go here, G go here. C and D have to be in one of these two, either here or here. C and H belong to different areas. H is here, so C should be here, E should be here. An absolutely delightful set. Uh, Jan, April, July, October, 5544, we've completed that. This we've completed the grid, how many papers each, each one has published. This we've done, who's from manufacturing, who's from automation, who's from logistics. We've broken China, Japan, India. We've got the entire grid. Hopefully all the questions should kind of take care of themselves. Now we can go on and answer the questions. What is the correct sequence of number of papers written by B, C, E, G? B is 1, C is 2, E is 2, G is 3. 1, 2, 2, 3. 1, 2, 2, 3. Done. Nice. How many papers were written by Indian authors? Indian authors are F, B, G, A. F is 1. B is 1. G is 3. A is 3. 1 plus 1 plus 3 plus 3, which makes 8. Which of the following statements must be true? Every issue had at least one paper by authors from each country. Every issue had at most two papers from authors from each area. Look at this had at least one paper from authors from each country. So countries is F, B, G, A. I think India will feature in all. That's going to be there. Lots. So China, C, E. C, E are there in everything. D, H. D is here. H and D are here. G is here. Sorry, H is here. D is here. So every issue has at least one paper by authors from each country. That we verified. So statement A is true. Statement 2. Statement B, every issue had at most two papers by authors from each area. So, at if this has to be false, we can find three papers from authors from the same area. In the true. So, I'm going to attack logistics. Logistics has FBHE. If there's any issue which has FBHE or more than two of these, then we are true. FBHE, BHE are sitting here in the April issue. So, in the April issue, there are three papers from logistics. So at most two papers, that is wrong. This is wrong. This is true. So only statement A is correct. That's the right answer. Which of the following statements is false? Every issue had exactly one paper by a Chinese author. Chinese authors are C and E, C, E, E, C, exactly one. We did a full round of this. So this is true. Every issue had at least one paper by authors from automation area. Automation is A and G. A, 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 G. Yeah, this is also true. The first three have A, the fourth one has G. Now this will also have G, but A and G definitely so it's also, also true. Every issue had exactly two papers by authors from logistics. Logistics is F, B, H. This has B, H and E. So April 5 issue has three papers from logistics, B, H and E. So this is not true. That's the right answer. Every issue had exactly two papers by Indian authors. F, B, H, E. That's interesting. Had exactly two papers by Indian authors. Indian authors F, B, G, A. B and A. F, B, G, A. G and A. F, B, G, A. G and A. F and G. Yeah, that is true. I was surprised that that is, I'm surprised that that is true. It seemed like a complicated thing for exactly two authors, but this is also true. The only statement that is false is statement C. Which of the following statements is false? Exactly one paper by an author from logistics area in the October issue. October issue, logistics is F, B, H, E. Only F is sitting here. This seems to be true. There was exactly one paper by an author from manufacturing area in the April issue. Manufacturing is D and C. April issue has E and D. So exactly one paper from manufacturing in the April issue. That is not correct because D and C, one second, D and C in April issue, that is correct. Not D and D, D and C. 
So only D is featuring there. So this is also true. Exactly two papers by authors from manufacturing issue, manufacturing area in the July issue. July issue has AHGE, manufacturing is DNC. Nothing here. So this one is false. Exactly two papers by authors from manufacturing area in the January issue. DC, yeah, this also two. A, B, and D are two. C is incorrect. C says exactly two papers from manufacturing area in the July issue. The July issue does not have D or C. Zero papers from manufacturing. That is the incorrect one. Choice C. Which of the following is the correct sequence of number of papers by authors from automation, manufacturing, and logistic area, respectively? Automation is A and G. A and G is 3 plus 3, 6. So automation is 6. Then comes manufacturing. Manufacturing is D and C. D is 3, C is 2, 5. Then comes logistics. That should be the remaining. Logistics is F, B, H, E. 1, 1, 3, 3, 8. Sorry. F, F. B H E one one three two one one three two two plus three five plus two seven adding up to eighteen this seems like it will work six five seven is the right answer. Hush.